Hey guys, how's it going? So in the last tutorial, I showed you guys how to install Quantum Espresso in Serial on a Linux and uh, specifically Ubuntu PC. So in this tutorial, I promised I'll be showing you guys how to install Quantum Espresso in parallel so that you can take advantage of all the cores on your processor. So the procedure is pretty much the same except one or two differences. So the first step is similar. You go to the Quantum Espresso homepage then head over to the download section over here and then um, you in the download section you go to these links either one of these so if you go to the github link then you can head over to the download section there and then just go down to the um, latest release tar.gz file so this one is that so tgz file and then once you have it downloaded on your um, pc then you can extract it by right clicking on it and then clicking on extract here However, you can also use the command um, on your terminal that is tar xcvf and um, the name of the compressed file that you just downloaded. So just hit enter to um, extract it here. And then um, you will notice a folder called qe 6 4.1 pop up and um, so the next step to install would be pretty much similar to the last case so you'll just change your directories to the directory where you extracted the contents of the quantum espresso package and then uh, you will run the command configure dot slash configure now once the process is complete um, it will prompt you whether it detected a um, parallel or a serial environment successfully or not so we'll just wait for it to complete real quick okay so as uh, this process is complete you can notice that it says that the parallel environment was not detected and therefore it is for now configured for serial executables however we can uh, compile it to uh, or i mean we can have it run in parallel if we have open mpi so that is the major difference here so in order to run quantum express or compile it for parallel executables you need to install openmpi and to do that you will need to give the command sudo i'm sorry sudo um, apt get install and then open mpi bin package then the open mpi um, doc package and then lib open mpi um, dev package so you'll be installing all these three packages so just go ahead and hit enter and then provide the password and then wait for this to install okay so once it is installed you can check whether it uh, installed successfully by running the command which mpi run and you'll notice that now it um, you know gives an address for the mpi run command so that's all that you're going to need to uh, you know compile quantum espresso uh, in parallel successfully so now you'll give the command configure again and and you'll notice that uh, this time it is able to take the parallel environment successfully however if uh, it still you know is unsuccessful in doing so then you can also try different variations of this command such as configure enable um, open mpi or open mpi i guess and so you can try this one also then there are a variety of other variations which you can check out in the quantum espresso documentation i'll make sure to add a link to it in the description down below however for now uh, you know quantum espresso has been uh, you know configured for compilation of parallel executables which is what we wanted so it was as easy as that and then the next step is pretty basic you just need to compile um, you know the pw.x executable for quantum espresso so that it runs you know parallelly so just go ahead and give the command pw or you know make all if you want to compile all the files however for the sake of this tutorial i'll only give the command make pw and then wait for it to you know compile successfully okay so now that the installation is complete um we can give it a test run by running the same exact input file that we did in the last tutorial however for the sake of this um you know tutorial let's just go ahead and quickly check out the bin folder and list the contents and have a look if the pw.x is created or not so here we can see that the file is created indeed 
so we'll just um, go ahead and run a couple of or maybe a, just a one simple calculation so I have my input files in a folder called um, QE sample input files right here so I'll just change my directory to that and then here is the input file that I want to run so scf.in so let me just go ahead and show you guys um, what it looks like so here is the file scf.in and let me just go ahead and delete these two files as well okay so here's the scf.in file and here I provided the pseudo potentials in the same directory therefore you have the dot here this is the pseudo potential and then the out directory is tmp temp and uh, all the rest is just standard stuff so um, we'll just go ahead and give the command mpi run because now we have installed open mpi so this is really essential to give the command mpi run and then the next thing you're going to do is you are going to give the command um, pw.x however we'll need the address for that so I'll just go ahead and head over to bin and then drag this you know pw.x over here so now I have the address of the pw.x however you won't need to do this if you added this address to the you know environment or path variables I'm not really sure um, what's the correct um, terminology for that however um, the next thing you need to do is you need to give the command um, hyphen in and then the name of the input file then the triangular right bracket and then the name of the output file scf.out so here you can see um, that the this working directory contains no output file as of now however once I run this command um, we will notice an output file so just go ahead and hit on enter and then go ahead and open this file scf.out which is just created and you'll notice that it states that the parallel version MPI of Quantum Espresso is running on two processors since I'm running it on a two core uh, you know PC and then you can just go ahead and wait for the you know calculation to complete and also um, you can verify whether all your processes are being utilized or not by giving the command nproc I'm sorry um, nproc maybe yeah so nproc gives the command and uh, gives the result too that is there are two cores on my you know in my machine and then just hit reload and as you can notice the calibration is almost complete however for the sake of this tutorial I'll just make sure uh, to wait for it to complete okay so now here is the you know completion of the output file however for some reason I'm noticing some you know warning signs I'm not really sure what are they about however the output file seems completely fine and normal as expected so here are some of the details so that's it that's how you install you know quantum espresso or compile quantum espresso parallel executable so that you can utilize all the cores on your pc that's it i'll make sure to you know add the links to the sample input files as well as the commands that i used in this tutorial in the description section down below i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and if you did then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thanks for watching and have a great day